Hi Gemini, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Gemini people that what will happen from 15th of January uh, till 31st of January 2022 with tarot cards. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to pull out a cross spread and we'll see what will happen overall. And after that, in the same video, I'm going to pull some cards out for love life of Gemini people from 15th to 31st of January 2022. So watch the video till the end so you get all the messages. And my new short film has been launched on my other YouTube channel. Uh, so the link of my new and latest short film is in the description of this video. So please, after watching this video, watch my short film too. You will love it. The link is in the description of this video. Uh, so let's start shuffling, Gemini. Okay. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 31st of January. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 31st of January. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 31st of January. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 31st of January 2022. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 31st of January 2022. Messages for Gemini, 15th to 31st of January 2022. Okay, Gemini. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, uh, the first card here is 5 of Cups. So, Gemini, uh, you're not very positive right now. You're not in a positive energy and uh, you're emotionally disappointed. So uh, something which you were expecting uh, to be worked out uh, did not work out. And uh, you feel that, okay, this is done. This is finished or this is done, basically. So you're very sad. You have some regrets you're disappointed, you're down. So it's a lack energy right now. So you're emotionally disappointed right now. Uh, in the past position, we have six of cups. So maybe you were very nostalgic before. So maybe there was a reunion, maybe there was a reconciliation, but maybe it did not work out. Uh, so uh, yeah, there were some good playful times for you uh, or maybe some of you were hoping for a reconciliation but it did not happen for some of you it can be like that so it can be in your love life it can be in your something else or uh, some other area because these are general readings so you have to keep that in mind now what's on your mind is four of wands so some of you want to get married or to get settled um, and uh, some of you uh, uh, like on your mind is to get married and get settled in life. For some of you, your, on your mind is getting out of a marriage or the marriage is not working out and you are disappointed because of that for some of you and for some of you there is like maybe you want to buy a house or you want to move your house where you live um, something about a house changing the house moving in a new house or buying a house something like that so maybe that's on your mind the space where you live uh, maybe it's it's about that for some of you uh, so on your mind is home for some of you on your mind is home and for some of you on your mind is house so you know the difference then uh, underneath we have seven of swords 
So some of you feel betrayed. Maybe uh, somebody betrayed you. So in some manner, in some area of your life, uh, some of you are thinking about leaving a situation. It can be a marriage. It can be a relationship. Um, and uh, it's like, you're also hiding your feelings. So in your heart space, you feel betrayed. Like your heart feel feels betrayed. And it's like maybe somebody lied to you or you found out some lies. It can be like that for some of you. But overall, it's not a positive energy. It's You are in a very depressive state right now you are in a very down sta uh, uh, state of mind right now uh, state of mind also and state of emotions also it's down it's sad it's it's not good mm, so it's a it's a lack energy right now for you gemini and you are in a downer mode so what's coming towards you is eight of cups so here, Eight of Cups is a positive energy because after this emotional disappointment, in, in the second half of January, you are going to leave that behind because right now it's on you. It's surrounding you. It's uh, encircling you and it's affecting you. So in the second half of January, you're going to see some light and you're going to see some hope. You're going to feel some hope and you're going to see some light and you're going to start moving towards that light, that hope. And when you will start moving towards that hope or that light, you will be leaving all the emotional trauma behind you so it's going to be very positive for you i know you are in a uh, negative state right now but this uh, second half of january is going to be positive for you and you're going to start moving in a positive uh, direction uh, and you're going to start getting over whatever is bothering you and you're going to start maybe moving on from that uh, towards positivity, towards uh, a new future maybe for some of you mm -hmm. or a new, I'm sorry about that, a new hope uh, for uh, lots of, for everybody uh, uh, in fact, a uh, new hope, a new future and and moving towards positivity so whatever this emotional trauma you're going through right now you're going to come out of that in the second half of january now uh, let's pull some cards out for your love life okay Mes love messages for gemini 15th to 31st of january 2022 love messages for gemini 15th to 31st of January 2022. Love messages for Gemini 15th to 31st of January 2022. Okay, Gemini. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. So, uh, the first card is strength. So, your love life has not been uh, going all right. There were blockages. Maybe you blocked it. Maybe things were not going well and stuck so your love life has been stuck and and also now four of pentacles again it's like uh, maybe you have vanished or somebody has vanished or or things are stuck and uh, things are not going anywhere in your love life right now whatever your situation is and you're very blunt and straightforward and bitter with this queen of swords in the background. So you're not in a good uh, 
romantic stage right now and and your love life is stuck at this point in time so uh, there is going to be some progress in the second half of uh, january with this three of wands here again in your love life there is going to be some positivity uh i'm not saying that it's going to be perfect no it's not going to be perfect that soon i think there will be one step better uh like uh, some progress some positive progress is going to happen in the second half of january but then there will be some waiting period and some future planning also so don't worry too much about it because things will get better in your love life i'm not going in the details of uh, the stories because these are general readings and thousands and thousands of people are watching so of course everybody has their own story so you, these are just energies you have to uh, fit it into your situation things are negative in your things are blocked in your love life and in the second half of january things will start um getting easier for you uh there will be some progress positive progress and um then there will be some planning future planning and then there will be some waiting you'll be waiting but positive waiting so it's like that please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel if you like what i do and thank you so much for watching the video stay blessed always